Hey everybody, I'm back and we are in Lanesboro, Pennsylvania. And I say we because I think there's Nancy over there. She's checking out, taking some pictures of what is behind the camera. And that is the Staruka Viaduct. And so we're gonna take some pictures and pop up our drones and see what we can see. This is gonna be kind of cool. Um, I did bring my little FPV drone. I'm not sure I'm gonna fly that here because one, I'm not that great, and two, there's a lot of wires right there as you can see. And then on the other side of these arches, there's a lot of trees. And on the other side of those trees over there, there are houses. So I don't wanna be um, intrusive, a nuisance. They've got a party that's actually just started over there, but I may not fly FPV, but I will fly the Mavic uh, Air 2S. And I'm gonna go see what Nancy is doing. She's over here. Oh, I gotta watch my step here. <laughs> and Staruka Viaduct. And some That's right, I'm in my own shadow. <laughs> Elevation, 1,000 feet above sea level. I'll let you guys <laughs> read that if you can, or you can look it up. But it's pretty cool. Definitely got a lot of good history behind it. I'll probably read it or narrate it. A timeline of the viaduct right here. That's kind of interesting. Locomotives, steam locomotives, Erie Canal, Jasper Francois Cropsey. So I'm not 100% sure this is actually still in use. It is owned, as you can see here, currently owned by the Norfolk Suffern Railroad and leased to Central New York Railroad with New York, Susquehanna and Western Railway trains operating over it. The viaduct is still <laughs> in continuous use today. Well, I guess it answers my question, huh? So let's go take some pictures and some video. Ready for takeoff. Pilot to control tower. My turn.
Anyway. <laughs> so Nancy and I decided to stop off since um, we didn't actually crash into anything or lose our drones. We thought we would treat ourselves to a little bit of um, ice cream. Mm. And we've got coconut and chocolate syrup. So, I gotta make a mess. Yep. 